So in this video, I'm going to fit these six benoins in my T4. And this is mainly because if you buy a T4, you've got the stock speaker mounting location here, which is suitable for a four inch speaker. Now, when I bought this, the speakers in this were completely shot. So first thing I did is replace them here with these four inch um, 300 watt fly speakers. These are great, um, really good, but the problem is these are quite loud vans when you're driving, especially when you're driving down the motorway. When I'm doing a long, uh, a long distance journey, I like to listen to podcasts or audiobooks, and even with that up full blast, I tend to find that quite often I still can't hear the words clearly enough over the um, sound of the engine. So I need to upgrade my speakers, and I bought these for £20 off eBay, so this is a really cheap upgrade. These are 300 watt speakers, just like the ones I've already got in there. But if you have a look at the difference in size, I think you'll agree that these probably will be able to kick out a little bit more volume. And also having four speakers rather than two, using all four channels on my stereo is going to help. Now there's no real easy place to mount these as far as I can tell, um, but I've come up with the idea of using this space underneath the seats. So what I'm going to do is sort of mock up some sort of way of fitting them under there. I could have the left and the right on this side and the driver's side, or I could have both of them on this side. I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm going to go and get some, some wood and some tools from B&Q. Just got the world's cheapest jigsaw and probably expecting this to last about three weeks. So the plan is to get a piece of wood cut covering this hole here and then I can cut out the holes in the speakers um, and I will attach the wood probably just with zip ties to the front there. I think it's going to hold it in place all right. Um, so I'm going to measure the shape of this from the top to that side and then from there to there and I'm going to cut out the uh, chipboard that I've bought to the right size. So this is 27 inches along the top 21 along the bottom there with three inches in it each side and um, seven and a half inches high. So time to try out the high quality jigsaw. So that sits nicely just there. And all I've got to do now is cut out the holes for the speakers to sit in. So I'm going to have one on that side, one on the other side. I'm a bit too lazy to do another one for the driver's side so I'm having them both on the passenger side. And the speaker came with this template here. Now as you can see this is cutting it a bit fine so I've got to cut it out with leaving just sort of an inch on either side there. I probably shouldn't have used chipboard like this. This isn't the best wood for this job. I should have got some plywood but I'll try and make it work like this. So that's starting to come together now. I've tried this out, it fits just nicely, it wedges in place, it actually stays there quite well on its own, but what I'm gonna do for good measure is just drill a hole here and here so I can secure it in, um, in place with zip ties at the top there. So that's all secured in place now. I've put a little bit of foam in between the um, wood and the metal there to stop it rattling, keep it nice and airtight. And all I've got left to do now is to run this wire here underneath the carpet there and then wire it into the stereo here. I'm just going to use the um, 
use the little diagram here, connect it to the left and right for the rear speakers. And then that should all be done, just to give you a view from the back. speakers and had to rewire it all because the wire that came with the speakers was complete dud so but it's all done anyway you can see I can now so that's just my front speakers then with the new speakers got a lot more bass and a lot more volume with all of them as well so job done pretty pleased with that